Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks with another van build how-to guide. This time is going to be about push button catches or push button knobs, latches, whatever you want to call them. Pretty popular nowadays in vans and really simple. Kind of like a boat style is where they de derived from. This is what they look like. That's how they work. Super simple. A lot of people want them in their vans nowadays and just for how light and simple and easy they are to use and install. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to install them and make it clean and efficient. So as you can see, I've already installed this side right here. Super simple. Now I'm gonna show you how to install this side, how to fit the door, drill the, where to drill the hole and mount the latch. This is what I use to install them. Any build or anything you're really gonna do in a van, obviously you need a tape measure, pencil, and having a, it looks like a triangle, but it's called a square, framing square, is also really handy to have, as well as some clamps. But for this build, you got your knob and catch right here you can get. I'll put a link in the bio where I can get where I get them on uh, Amazon. They're about five or six bucks each. So you're gonna need a drill motor and a well, drill motor and a you know, screw motor, whatever you wanna call them. Same, same, but different. And then obviously the spade bit. Screwdriver helps for when you're trying to get in tight places with these little tiny screws they come with. But I can show you a little way around that as well. So to install these, Obviously, you're going to have to mark on your wood, but first off, I'm going to explain to you why I use these spade bits and how to find the right size. Pretty much every single one of these push latches you buy is going to be this exact size, which is a three-quarter inch spade bit. And you can see that by holding it like so and seeing how wide it is. It wants to be the same width. It has these little ridges right here so that when it pushes in, it stays in, doesn't pull back out. You know, if you can tell, perfect size. Actually, let me show you something real quick and why I use this extra piece of wood, which is not only handy in this project, but in all projects of <laughs> drilling a hole, especially with a spade bit. So you got your spade bit in there. So let's take this scrap piece, for example. I'm gonna start drilling it and watch what happens if I don't have this extra piece of wood here and I keep it hanging off the table. Look at that big old blowout. Not clean. The inside's super rough. You know, if that would be a finished piece, that would not fly. I mean, at least in my book. Why not just, you know, spend that extra little bit of time to make it look clean and get it? So this is why you have this. Let me show you. Clamp it down. Always, you don't want this blowing around and scratching the front of the door. So this is gonna be hung on the right and open in this direction. So I'm gonna have the push button right here. I'm gonna find center. This piece of wood is 12 and a quarter, so six and an eighth. And then, so another thing you gotta look at, and I'll just tell you right now, it'll be easier for you, but the way I find it is, you gotta find how far in the hole is gonna be. And to do that, I measure from the inside of the cabinet to the center, if you can see, to the center of the knob. So a little easier to see because it's a little longer here. Measure from the inside of the cabinet to the center of the knob. I already did it, so I know that the dimension is one inch. That's a little tidbit. So you already know it's one inch now. You don't have to do the work I did. Come across one inch. That's where you're gonna drill your hole, right there. Easy. Now let me show you something else. That I like to do. So I find that one inch mark right there. I'm going to mark past it with my little square. So now this is the line and that'll come into play in a little bit. Get your spade bit. Watch what happens to this once I use this extra block of wood down here. Right on the line. Put pressure down. Keep everything as straight as possible. All right, so remember, that's what we had before. Now, that's what we have now. Super clean. I always like to 
to give every kind of hole that I drill like a, just a nice little eased sanding around the edges. Here is your little bevel, they call it. This is the outside, so right here is where I'm gonna set it. And sometimes it goes in super simple, like it is right now, but I'm just gonna show you how to make it go in tight and not by smashing on it just like this with a hammer. A little block of wood. Boom, it's in, perfect. So now let me show you what this little line is for. Get a little catch in. So now, what you wanna do is obviously keep this thing as straight as possible, and this is what the line is for. If you can see, down through there, right there's my line in the middle. And right over here, you can barely see the line as well. That is just something to reference to go off of to keep this thing straight. You don't want it tweaked either way. You want to keep it as straight as possible. You can also, if you wanted to, obviously take the measuring tape and measure each side of it. But I feel like the little line thing is a little easier. Screws are in. Nice and clean looking. Push, push the button. Super easy. One thing I want to say is don't tighten these too tight. Just snug them up. I've had problems where I tighten them too much, and this thing, the little push part, does not push very easily. Now let's go over to the van and install the catch. You can see I already have the hinge on it right here. It's going to be hinged up here against this side, like so. So I'm going to attach that real quick so that I can measure where the uh, latch is going to go. Door on. One thing that's handy to have is something that's as thick as the material you're working with. I've got a little scrap right here. What I'm gonna do is set it up against here, flush on the front, mark the back, and that is where the front of the latch will go, like so, like that, because that's where the door is gonna stop and hit it, and then the latch part that pops out will be behind it. Now you gotta wanna find center. To do that, measure. Grab this, looks like from the bottom I got five and seven eighths. So that's where I'm gonna start the bottom of my latch. Come back over here. Mark your five and seven eighths. There's the bottom. Now I'm gonna set this up here, like so. And then put a couple little uh, dots right there in the holes and make a little indent so it's easier to screw in. So these are the screws that come with the latch. I like to use bigger screws. They're not easy. Not only are they easier to use in the drill motor because these little screws always pop out and you know you can strip them really easily, but they also hold the latch in better in case there's you know too much pressure on it. All right, the catch is in. Now what I do? Shut the door. Click it. Doesn't want to open. And that's it, right there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more how to videos, click subscribe up in the top right corner. Or if you want to send me a quick email, solidwoodworks at gmail.com is my email. If not, some quick questions in the comment section would be great.